intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello and welcome to the first video of the mom on penny box. Um, this is the cut down live stream. The live stream is out there if you want to go watch the full hour. Um, but this is just a cut down. I finally got around to downloading and cutting this one down. This one was a lot harder to cut down than the second live stream. So please bear that in mind as you go through here in the bottom corner. We have a microscope window there. And in this video, I kind of jump around and there's going to be a lot of cuts and stuff. I just wanted to make a shorter video of just the finds. I'll eventually put all these together in a compilation once they get the box finished. So you can see all the finds together. But the first two parts of the compilation are going to be a bit choppy. Because they are cut down live stream. So this box is a what's called a Ma and Pa penny box. Paul Spare Time got a hold of these boxes from a bank where a older couple had collected coins over many decades probably starting in the 60s or 70s and just had them in buckets or jars or whatever and when the so-called coins for shortage occurred a few years ago that elder couple decided they were going to help out they rolled up all their coins and sent them to the bank and they there was many many boxes of these turned into the bank paul got a hold paul over at paul's spare time got a hold of some of them this one box I picked up as part of a charity auction last year. Um, and I've been sitting on, on it for a while. Couldn't wait to get this open and go through that. So that's what this video is. That's the very, very short version of that. And if you do want to hear a more full version of the story, it is available out on the live stream. But here I opened up the penny box and one of the rolls had busted open and on top, there was a wheat scent that was a 1946 out of San Francisco, and I'll look at it here in just a second. But uh, I'll thump out this this first roll that busted up, and we'll go through that one first, and then I pull out four other rolls to go through. Sorry, the video is going to be choppy because this is a live stream again, and some of these I'm just going to do it just going to voice over probably because some of the talking is very choppy and, and cut up here. This again this live stream was very very difficult for me to uh, shrink down into just the fines because of how I filmed it and and stuff and because of the software used I was unable to zoom in and out on the coins so please bear with me if you look here in the first roll um, that is a still scent so in the first roll that was busted open we had a few fines one of them being a still scent so that was really cool and I'll, I'll we'll look at that here in a second the wheat scent on top, and then there was a few other awesome finds, and we'll go over there in a second. All right, well, I do hope you enjoy this video, and sorry about any audio error or video choppiness, but I do hope you enjoy the video of this short version, so you don't have to watch the live stream, and you can just see the quick shot for the first five rolls of this box here. And for the rest of the video, I will be jumping back and forth between voiceovers and the audio from the actual live stream. I do hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and thank you very much for taking time to watch this, and I do hope you enjoy this whole series where I will go through all 50 rolls and put out a compilation for that. All right, well, let's get into this box and, and, and see what kind of awesome finds are here. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Right there. We already got a blazer. We already got a blazer. It's probably going to have 50s. Ooh, a 54 out of Denver. How about that? Um, look at that, 1954 out of Denver. Beautiful, beautiful. And we got this 1940 uh, pulled out. 1940S was on top. Here's another wheat. 1951 out of Denver. Oh, no, San Francisco. Try to get set up to do a lot. There's a 1950 wheat set. Four. I mean, I'm just picking through and I'm seeing like eight of them. 1935. This one's a little rough. 1935. So that's pretty cool. There's a 57 out of Denver. Yeah, oh, we got a Canadian too, and it's an old one. 
I'll just dig in under delete since this is a young kid. Um, Laureate portrait, 1956. Put things. There's a couple more wheat cents here. 1945, weedy. 1956 out of Denver. Hopefully you can see okay in the camera here. And then we have the still sign already pulled out here. 1943 out of San Francisco. Finding a still scent is just awesome. 1954S, another weed scent down here in the bottom of the pile. First scent in rule two, we got a 1944 weed scent. Look back here, got another weed scent. 1950 out of San Francisco. All right, next weed scent out of the roll, 52S. Very cool. This is a, we'll go ahead and look at this one, 1947S. 1947 D of the wheat scent 1953 out of San Francisco the next one is a 42 1942 wheat set I got the wheat here popped out 1940 weedy got a weedy here 1944 out of San Francisco 1953 wheat set. Oh, 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 we got we got something in this roll. We got something in this roll. Let me can you see it? Can you see it? I just moved it a little bit. Do you see it? Do you see it? Silver? We got silver in a penny roll. Silver in a penny roll. Oh, and it is a Merc dime. We have our Mercury. Very cool. Very cool. I do not see a mint mark. 1940. 1940 silver. Woohoo! Silver. Hit that silver. Let me just double check. Yep, no mint mark there. That is a silver. 1940. Very cool. Awesome. We got a 1950 Blazer. How about that? Look at that. 1950. Blazing red scent there. One out of Denver, it looks like. Another Weedy. How about that? Oh, no, that's a San Francisco. This one I already saw. It was a 1939. 1939. That is our oldest weed scent yet. 1939. 1956 out of Denver. Another weedy. Another weedy. Woohoo! We got another weedy here. There's a 1947 out of San Francisco. And the next weedy is a 1955 out of Denver. Oh. This looks interesting. This looks interesting. Look at that. Look at that. We have a 1899 Indian headset. How about that? Boom. All right. All right. That is awesome. 1899. It is rough, worse for wear, but that is an Indian headset. Very cool. That is another awesome find. 1944 out of Denver. There's another weedy. 1958 out of Denver. There we go. Nice red brown. 51. Very cool. And we got another weedy. 1956 out of Denver. Awesome. So, one, two, three, four, five wheats left over here that I can see. Oh, and a Canadian. There might be a couple more of these might be wheats, but we got 1998 Canadian. So let's check these wheats out, and then I'll flip through these last few coins. 36. 1936. Weedy, 19, 1953 out of Denver. Cool. Another Weedy, 1948 out of San Francisco. 
Nice. These rolls are just awesome. 53 out of Denver and a 56 out of Denver. So that is it for the first five rolls of this box and this uh, first live stream. I do hope you found this uh, short edited down version enjoyable. And here is a quick shot of the finds. We had 33 wheats, a still, one of those being a still scent. We had two Canadians, one Indian head scent, and then a few BU coins, as well as a awesome Mercury dime find. This box will be continued in part two. You can see that on the playlist that I will be creating or in the compilation once I am finished with this box. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.